everyone. Welcome to this week's Tuesday Truth for Kids. I'm so excited to get into our passage for today. So I thought I would let all of you guess what our animal for the week is. Here are a few fun facts. These animals are originally from desert areas of the Middle East and Africa. They hate rain because their coats are not waterproof. They can be very, very, very stubborn. And the final clue, Jesus rode into Jerusalem on this animal and people praised him as their king. Yep, you guessed correctly, it's a donkey. But we won't be learning about when Jesus rode into Jerusalem, that's in the New Testament. Today's story is from the Old Testament, that's the first part of the Bible. And this donkey that we're going to learn about lived nearly 1,500 years before Jesus lived on earth. And this donkey is a talking donkey. So are we going to learn about Shrek today? No. Shrek is a made up story. The story that we're going to be learning about today really happened. So are you ready to use our SOAP tool? What does that stand for again? S is for scripture, O, observation, A is for application, and P for prayer. So scripture, where are we reading from today? Today's passage is Numbers 22, verses 21 to 31. Numbers is another book of the Bible with a long list of names, just like Ezra chapter 2 that we learned about on Sunday. And it can make us feel like just skipping over it. But Numbers also teaches us so much about God and his plan to rescue people through Jesus. Numbers is the fourth book of the Bible, and it's in the Old Testament, as we said, and it's about God's people and their long journey to the promised land. So at this point in the book of Numbers, the Israelites are traveling towards Moab. That's like a nation, a country, place. <laughs> the king of Moab, Balak, was terrified of the Israelites. He had heard how they defeated all of their en enemies and that they had a really powerful God. So he called a guy called Balaam. He was a sorcerer, like a wicked prophet, and he was called to curse God's people. That means to say really bad words about them and to wish for bad things to happen to them. Balak thought that this would defeat God's people. If he had Balaam on his side, he is sure to win. So let's read what happened. So Balaam got up in the morning, saddled his donkey, and went with the Moabite officials. But God was very angry when he went, and the angel of the Lord stood in the road to oppose him. Balaam was riding on his donkey, and his two servants were with him. When the donkey saw the angel of the Lord standing in the road with a drawn sword in his hand, it turned off the road into a field. Balaam beat it to get back onto the road. Then the angel of the Lord stood in a narrow path through the vineyards with walls on both sides. When the donkey saw the angel of the Lord, it pressed close to the wall, crushing Balaam's foot against it. So he beat the donkey again. Then the angel of the Lord moved on ahead and stood in a narrow place where there was no room to turn, either to the left or either to the right. When the donkey saw the angel of the Lord, it laid down under Balaam, and he was angry and beat it with his staff. Then the Lord opened the donkey's mouth, and it said to Balaam, What have I done to you to make you beat me these three times? Balaam answered the donkey, You have made a fool of me. If only I had a sword in my hand, I would kill you right now. The donkey said to Balaam, Am I not your own donkey, which you have always ridden to this day? Have I been in the habit of doing this to you? No, Balaam said. Then the Lord opened Balaam's eyes and he saw the angel of the Lord standing in the road with his sword drawn. So he bowed down and fell face down. What an interesting story. 
<laughs> the Bible is full of stories like this. You guys should really read your Bibles every day. Now, what is this passage about? The main thing that I observe that I see in this passage is that Balaam couldn't notice God on his own. He needed God's help for this. We read that the donkey saw the angel of God, but Balaam couldn't. This is really strange. The donkey is an animal and Balaam is supposed to be this clever and powerful sorcerer. But God used the donkey's behavior and then the donkey actually talking to get Balaam's attention. And we saw in verse 31 that God opened Balaam's eyes. It doesn't mean his eyes were closed and then they were open. They were open all the time. It just means that God helped Balaam to notice him, to see God for who he really is, to notice that God is the one true God. So guys, it's an absolute miracle that the donkey could talk. But the even bigger miracle is that Balaam could see God and know who he is. So application, what does this mean for us today? Well, God uses many different ways to get our attention, to help us see him and listen to him. God can use people in our lives, things that happen to us, maybe even things that we struggle with, like the coronavirus, anything really to get us to pay attention to him. And God speaks to us too, not through donkeys, but through something way, way, way better, the Bible, God's word. God also opens our eyes to help us notice him and to believe the truth about him. God helps us to notice the sin in our hearts. He helps us to notice how our sin separates us from him because he is so holy. And then he helps us to notice and to believe that Jesus is our rescuer, that Jesus died to take the punishment for our sin. And just like Balaam couldn't see the angel on his own, we need God's help to trust in Jesus as our King and rescuer. Right, guys, let's pray together. God, thank you so much for amazing stories like this in the Bible. Please help us to pay attention to you this week. Help us to notice all the ways that you want us to see who you are, how much you love us and how you have rescued us. Help us to notice and believe the truth about Jesus and what he came to do for us on the cross. God, help us to see how to live for you and how to be true to you always. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much. We'll see you next week for our Tuesday Truth for Kids.